time to commit the ultimate sin. Ooh. I don't know how old this is actually. I remember uh, buying it on Steam for some strange reason. What I do not know why. Probably because it was cheap. Let's be honest. It's probably because it was cheap. And it's been, uh, I thought, Sunday. Very nice day to play a game. Especially one like this. My name is Aaron Bruce, son of Malcolm Bruce and rightful heir to Dunshield House. I have recently discovered that my tyrant of a father intends to disinherit me in favour of my deranged younger sister. My relationship with my family is strained, to say the least. I have decided that time has come for my sister to be removed from the ghastly equation. I intend to put her out of her misery. Unfortunately, my sister never leaves the confines of Dunshield House, which makes the matter complicated. I have not visited the family home in quite some time. I can't bear to be in that hellhole for long. However, my presence on the night of my father's 50th birthday will cause no suspicion. I must choose the timing and method of the deed very carefully. Tonight is the night. I go. It is done. The bell invites me. So yeah, basically, you've got to kill your sister and then frame someone else. Apologies now, if there are very obvious black bards, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> yep, very obvious black bards. <laughs> Can't seem to change the volume either, so I hope it's not too loud. Bloody hell, George, who has been responsible for maintaining the gardens? Used to be Big Jack Willis, sir. He's been dead for almost a year now. I do a little here and there. Can't do much on account of my bad back, though. My sister hasn't offered to help you then? Mrs. Jennifer doesn't really, isn't really the outdoor type, sir. I know, George. It was a joke. Very funny, sir. <laughs> Let's go inside before the ocean comes to Dunshiel. This guy's a bit of a toss pot, really, isn't he? Hey, no more rain. Homecoming. Converse with your relatives and search for the house for the objects. Items of evidence and weapons. You'll only be able to pick up two. Ooh. Oh, crap. Only two. After dinner, you will have a chance to plant item and evidence, if you wish, and then commit the murder. There are many ways to do the deed, but only the cunning will succeed. Oh, this is going to be fun. Even though I'm going to be absolutely horrible at it. Good evening, Master, Mr. Aran. May I take your coat? All right, that's just creepy. <laughs> of course, there we go. Yes, take this blasted wet thing off me. You're new, aren't you? Sophie is... Sophie is my name. I recognise you from your pictures, Master Aaron. I really can't do women voices. <laughs> I'm not new, exactly. I've been employed by your family for almost a year. It is just that you have never visited before. Uh, I have been busy. I, d I can't say I go and get along with my family. That's a bad idea. My work keeps me very visually, unfortunately. I understand. I've been away from the family for a lot since I started this job. You are here now, and I'm sure you are eager to meet the others. Your father is in the library on the left, and your mother is in the parlour, which is on your right. Your sister is upstairs in her room, I think. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Sophia. You're welcome, Mr. Aaron. I will be in the kitchen preparing dinner. I'll sound the bell when dinner is served. Oh, so that's how you move around. Cool. Yeah, no, I was like, I can't start saying that I'm a fucking, I hate my parents to other people, because then they're going to get a bit suspicious when one of them turns up dead as soon as I turn up. Your mother's prized golden candlestick sits at the centre of the table, would certainly make for an elegant traditional word of weapon. Oh, oh, I don't know, should I use the candlestick? <laughs> that might be quite a funny idea, actually. Walking into the pantry, we begin to salivate at the promising scent of roast beef coming from the kitchen. Oh, what's that? Ra ah! Huh, that's a. G I don't know how many. That's the thing. I don't know how many ways to kill there are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that for now. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's leave that for now. Because I worry. I don't... Oh, I could get a knife. That would be quite cool. Is there something I can do you for? What time will dinner be ready? It won't be long. Oh. There's no rush, really. You look like you're sweating yourself to death in here. Oh, you are kind, but please don't worry. It's my job. I would never complain about a little hard work. Good for you. I'm sorry. I must get back to work now. Can I just keep talking to her? No. 
<laughs> Please don't touch it. Damn. <laughs> Maybe I can hit some of the frying pan. See, I, I understand the idea of actually, like, killing them. But how the hell do you plant evidence? And where? I'm going to go chat to everyone. Let's have a speak. I see you've made it. I have seen you've made it, Aaron. Forgive me if I don't stand. Your mere presence has almost given me a heart attack. Hello, mother. Please sit down if you want to talk properly, Aaron. I don't want to crane my neck looking up at you. These are a, like, a fun bunch, aren't they? She doesn't really look that old to be a mum, does she? So, Aaron, you finally managed to make it up here for a visit. Please tell me you aren't just here to cause trouble. I'm here to make amends. Yeah. See? That's how it works. you got to make them believe that you're here for that reason, and then you stab them in the back. <laughs> for what it's worth, I apologise for any stress that my behaviour has caused. However, if we can get to her, to, de, 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 have you been up to see your sister yet? She's been going for an unusually difficult time. Will she be okay? I've not seen her this bad in a long time. Ooh. Do you remember that some when she with the... Ah, oh, okay. <gasps> That's a really good opening. That is a really good opening. I think I need to find something like that then, don't I? Leave it where it is. Yeah. That's a very, very good idea, actually. So something like... That looks like a suicide would be very good. A dusty old wine cellar is where your father likes to practice billiards. The laundry room is next door and beyond that, the servants' quarters. I don't really need a pool cue. Yeah, I need to find like a rope or, or something like that. Because that would be great. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're that old guy. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. What can I do you for? You seem quite distressed about something. I do. Well, it's sure nothing to shove yourself. Your concerns are my consent. Come on now, George. We've known each other for many years. If something is troubling you, I want to hear about it, if you insist. Ever since the new maid arrived, I feel like I'm being nudged towards early retirement. She's obviously being trained to become the new housekeeper. I've tried discussing the matter with your mother, but it's no use. She hasn't been herself lately. Oh. So this new maid is quite domineering then. She didn't seem that way to me. She is subtle in her ways, but mark my words. She wants to be running the house. Perhaps it's not a coincidence that your sister's mental health has become worse since Sophia arrived. Oh. I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, but I have suspicions. She is as cold and heartless as a woman as I've ever known. I should say no more. Please excuse me. Oh. That's good. I like that idea. So I could definitely get away with doing something involving her then, couldn't I? So, I've got... Aha, a broken mirror. Odds are that it belongs to your sister and the maid has been hiding it here. A shard of glass from the mirror will make a poetic murder weapon. Huh. So, we've got a couple of options so far that I can see. One, we make it look like a suicide. Two, we basically do it to blame the, uh, the woman. The maid. That... Yeah, that's a very good idea. I like that. But then, obviously, we've got to find something of the maids to actually, like, make it a bit of evidence, surely. Oh, I like this. Let's go upstairs. The fuck? Whoa. What is going on? What? what? Oh, is this like a flashback? Okay. I don't know. Of course you do. Use that head for once, boy. Great Uncle Thomas, sigh. What initials do you see on that silverware? CB. And what kind of heart of it spelled Thomas with a C? I don't know. Well, I do. It's the kind of halfway that's standing next to me. Now, which of your ancestors owned that silver chalice? If you get this wrong, there will be serious consequences, boy. Huh. I'll say one thing for my father. His style of parenting has always been consistent. <laughs> huh. That was really fucking weird, man. And so I just like pages of poetry penned in your sister's handwriting. They seem to be love letters penned to an identified female. Oh, that's a fucking... Oh. Oh, 
that's really good. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave them for now. I'm going to have to leave until I have, like, a an idea in my head. But, obviously, I'm going to go find Father first. I reckon he's upstairs somewhere. In one of these rooms. Or not. <laughs> what about this one? Anything in here? It's only once it's, uh, remember, it's where your father keeps his shotgun. Oh, I can't. I can't just shotgun someone. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can get away with that, to be perfectly honest. Who is that I see? Your great-uncle Thomas Bruce. Let's have a little look-see. Ah, oh, there's the woman. What the fuck? This is creepy. Wow. The hell is going on? Ornate clocks. Fucking Jesus. She is weird. Silky undergarments with their initials. Huh. Huh, that might be a good thing to plant in that room. Ah, I thought I smelt a rat. Have you come to see me, little rat? How are you feeling, Jennifer? How have I been? What an odd thing for a little rat to ask. She's a cunt. Normally they just say squeak, squeak. Oh, how he squeaked such great pain for such a little creature. What the hell is wrong with her? Mother says your condition has been getting worse. My condition? What condition? I don't have a condition. You want to have, yeah, you want to have me sent away, don't you? Well, it won't work. It won't work, I tell you. Go away. I don't want to speak to you anymore. The fuck? The hell is wrong with this woman? Wow, that is really creepy. <laughs> I like the idea of those, though. Because if I can get those... What I could obviously do, unless I find a different thing. Oh, I don't know. Oh, was that a rapier? Oh, so yeah, it is. Uh, I'll leave the sword where it is, because it's mine. That is a stupid idea. Why would I take my own sword? Your wardrobe is vacant and barren. What about in that bedside table? Ah, it doesn't have anything in it. So where's the father? I think I've missed the room somewhere. Down the stairs. Okay, so summary. We could obviously make it look like the maid has done it. Probably. I don't know. That seems to be an option. Ah, he's in here. Ah, okay. Even now, the familiar musty smell of your father's library fills you with dread. Oh, God. Hello, dog. Named Beastie. What a horrible fucking name. <laughs> Hello, father. Your father remains silent for several moments and chills needs to pass through the library. When he finally speaks his quiet and bitter time. You told me you'd never enter this house again, boy. Why are you here? To see you, of course, Father. Happy birthday. It's obvious why I'm here. I want to put that unpleasantness behind us and wish you a happy 50th. Happy? You honestly think this is a happy day for me? Another day where I can watch my last wife crumble into nothing? Oh, Jesus. Why have you got to be so fucking... stupid? You know how to make me happy? Move back to Dunshield. Take your proper place and do your damn duty. Ooh. I'll consider it if my sister is put into care. If I was moved to Dunshire, I would have certain expectations. Oh, and what expectations would those be? Firstly, I'd refuse to suffer your daily insults. You'll need to need to be more decent to me. Secondly, my sister needs to be put into care where she belongs. You would like that, wouldn't you? You obnoxious little shit and <laughs> selling out your own blood. <laughs> the same snot nose back as you always were. Boy, obviously you didn't give you enough discipline as a child. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Let's just leave. Yeah, let's get out. Yeah, forget that. Everyone's a dickhead here. I don't really want to talk to anyone. <laughs> let's get out of this library. Okay, so that really didn't help in any way, shape, or form. I think... I don't know. Okay, so there's undergarments. So, it's either the love letters or the undergarments that I could use as evidence, but where do I place them? Because, like, I could obviously place, like, those undergarments in, like, the servants' quarters to blame the servant, but then obviously there's the love letters as well. So, I don't know whether or not 
Ah, oh, such a pain. I think... I think we'll try and get this. Should I get... Yeah, should I take that? Yeah. The knife... The knife is probably the... Maybe it might be the best idea. Ooh, I'm really stuck. Or I could just poison... Although, to be fair, the, you can't really poison anyone. Unless you... Unless I say, oh, it, it will be the maid. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea. Let's go get those undergarments. Put them in the maid's quarters. And then put rat poison in the thingy. Uh, I think that might work. Yeah, our, our plan is has already formed. I will try now to put them where I can put them. So it is downstairs, if I remember correctly. This might, this may, may work. Let's see. There's nothing in these drawers but clothes belonging to the maid. Can I not, can I not put it anywhere yet, or? Huh. I'm going to use the uh, rat -a tat tat poison, methinks. Because then it looks like the maid could have done it, because that's in the kitchen? I think the undergarments make sense. But I could be completely and utterly wrong. I don't know when to plant the evidence, though, because he didn't let me. So I don't know... Alright, let's do that. Take the rat poison. Yes. Okay. Dinner's about ready now. I'll ring the bell to call everyone. So, oh, oops! How the how do I poison someone's food when they're eating it? Oh God! Sophia, could you come here for a moment? Yes, ma'am. Pour me some more wine. Yes, ma'am. But, madame, oh, what is it, George? I must protest. It's always been my duty to pour the wine at dinner. Oh well, I don't want to cause any trouble. Nonsense. What does it matter, George? Stop being overly pedantic. But, but. Oh, this is probably going to come into it quite big. Uh, but, but I... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Let George pull the wine. Don't you think you've had enough? Um... Yeah, go on then. Just let him pull the damn wine, would you? Oh, that's what I did. That's not what I said. Stay over the boy. If your mother wants the girl to pour the damn wine, the girl will pour the damn wine. Of course, sir. My apologies. Interfering little rat, isn't he, daddy? Yes, he is. Why can't you ever keep your mouth shut, boy? Uh, right, sorry. I must have too much wine myself. You better not let that happen again. Could you come here, please, Sophia? Yes, Miss Jennifer. I just wanted to say that it was the loveliest meal you've ever tasted. I don't know how you do it, you cunning pixie. You are too kind, miss, of course. I will have the tea and cakes for you in the drawing room. As usual, after dinner. Oh, yeah, very good to me, sweet thing. Very good to me. Uh, would you sleep to flirting with each other? <laughs> Shush, rat, go crawl in a hole somewhere. There's quite enough of your silly jokes, Aaron. Anyway, let's not forget why we are here today. To celebrate your father's birthday. Such a very important occasion for us all. You are also dear to us, Malcolm. Happy birthday, Daddy. Indeed, happy birthday, Father. I hope it will be one to remember. Why would you say that? Doing the D. Now it's time to quickly plant any items of evidence you have to do so. Simply enter the desired room and select the item in your inventory. When you are ready, enter the drawing room and do the deed. Oh. Okay. Can I talk to people? No. Oh. Okay, yeah, downstairs. I love how they do it in the drawing room as well. <laughs> Let's do it in here. So, how do I select the item? Um, I, I for item? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I, sh I, I don't know the button for the item. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Undergarments. Let's leave them. Uh, yeah. Do you want to plug? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That might be quite good. Oh, Actually, I could. Do I want to... No, I can't pick that up, can I? No, 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 no. Okay. 
Oh, oh, this is getting exciting, man. Uh, okay, straight upstairs. It's through, through. That's my sister in the drawing room. So how do I... You see Jennifer staring out the window ahead of you, lost in one of her strange moods. She hasn't noticed you enter the drawing room. Oh, God, this music, man. Now is the time. Choose the murder weapon. Rat poison. Poison, the silent weapon of an intelligent killer, sprinkled over the cakes on the table. It could easily be mistaken of a frosting of sugar. <laughs> Having added a generous portion of your special topping to the cakes, you step back to the shadows and watch to make sure she eats them. Sure enough, she turns to the plate and devours two. The poison works surprisingly quickly. She begins to toke and her skin turns green. Finally, she falls to the ground in front of you. You examine her body and make sure she isn't breathing before placing the container. Her deed is done. It's time to leave this room. The deed is done. Tea and hotcakes. Yes. <laughs> All right, I've got, uh, I've got time. I've got time. Aha, go to my room. Nice no, parents' bedroom. Oh, sounds like my, like my deed has been discovered. Ooh. Oh, this is really cool. Oh God, what's going on? Good evening, everyone. I am Chief Inspector Winston Lewis. That jawline, though. <gasps> I understand this is a little difficult time for your family. You're damn right it is. I want to know what you're doing wasting my time in here while your daughter's killer is still out there. Well, Mr. Bruce, we have found no evidence of forced entry and no one was seen entering or leaving the house. When I, th when I read that, I thought we have found no evidence at all. I was like, fuck, I found it. <laughs> it would seem entirely possible, then, that the killer is in this room. Dun, dun, dun. What? No. That seems highly unlikely, Inspector. <laughs> Very civil about it. Perhaps it is. However, in order to follow protocol, we will have to interview each of you in turn. Oh, wow. Thank God I didn't say anything like really incriminating then. Mrs. Bruce, would you like to meet me in the library first? I suppose so. I don't think I said anything incriminating. Thank you for joining me here, Mr. Bruce. I'm sure this won't take long. Before we begin, I will need to search your person. Best to get these formalities out of the way. Is this really necessary? I'm afraid so. Turn around, please. Hmm. Now that's out of the way. Let's move on to the interview. Wow, thank God I didn't have like anything on me. Or just use my bare hands. As you know, I already have spoken to everyone else who was present in the house at the time of your sister's death. We now have also completed our initial search of the house, but we'll get to that later. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First of all, we will run through all of the activities since you arrived. The maid says that you and the butler arrived shortly after 7 o'clock and she greeted you at the door. Later you went to speak with the maid again, which is curious. Why did you decide to visit the kitchen? Oh, shit. To see when dinner would be ready. Yeah, because that's what I said. I was hungry and wanted to know when dinner would be served. That makes sense. Later on, you had a conversation with my mother, Gloria, in the parlour. She told me that you were unusually cordial. Something about wanting to apologise and make amends. I was being sincere. I think sincere means true. Uh, sincere, yeah. Yes, I wanted to make it clear the air before myself and the family. I see. Do you think it was slightly suspicious that you suddenly wanted to reconcile after this time? No, I don't think so. Very well, then. She says that you spoke briefly about your sister, apparently. You seem quite concerned about her well-being. Actually, I wasn't especially concerned. I was more... Uh, we were worried about my sister might attempt a suicide. Uh, oh, could it be? Could it be? Yeah, go on, then. Yeah, and she had attempted once before. Had she? She had, had she? I will take note of that. She went to your father. You went to see your father in the library, I understand. Your conversation became quite heated. My father has always had a temper. My father has had a sharp fuse. Many conversations go that way. Would you say he's a violent temper? Absolutely, I see. That's good to know. You discussed the prospect of your moving back to Dunshiel. You said you would only move back if your sister was placed in psychiatric care. For her own well-being. I had the best intentions of the heart. She belonged in care. You may be right, Mr. Bruce. However, you seem to be the only one who felt that way. Let's discuss your conversation with the butler. I understand you spoke to the new maid, Sophia. The butler seems to have concerns about her. She told me that the new maid is a bully. Yeah. I believe cold and heartless were the words you used. See, I see. Interesting. Did you speak to your sister before dinner? Yes, I did. I see. And what did you discuss with her? 
Nothing at all. She insulted me and I left. That was the brief the most conversation I had with my sister. She called me a rat and not wanting to be insulted further. I left the room. Did that make you angry? To be honest, I was used to it from her. Hmm. Let's move on to the events that took place during dinner. I understand that there was an argument involving the butler. You felt it was being treated unfairly. My family always treats the servants poorly. Someone had to stand up for the servants around here. My family treats them like dirt. Indeed, it was good of you to do so, Mr. Bruce. At one point, you made the accusation that the maid and your sister were in some sort of inappropriate relationship. I'm almost certain they were. It seemed obvious enough to me the way those two were carrying on. My parents are just oblivious to it. You believe your sister was a lesbian relationship with the maid? Almost certainly. Oh. <laughs> now I need to ascertain the location of your sister's death. Where were you in the hate of the maid? It was upstairs. On the landing. I see. Thank you. As, said, as I said earlier, we have completed your initial search of the property. The search is not so many... Ah. Oh, damn. However, you must also have passed through the pantry in order to speak to the maid in the kitchen. Of course, your sister... Ma ah. Oh, hello. I'll be completely honest with you now, Mr. Bruce. While some of your behaviour this evening has been peculiar, I can find no cause for significant suspicion. Yeah! While there is some suspicion regarding your father, I don't currently regard him as a serious suspect. I also think the evidence surrounding the maid might be worth another look. Oh. You can go for now, but I would appreciate it if you did not leave town. and made more questions for you. I think another interview with the maid would be required also. It's possible that the inquest might return a verdict of suicide. We'll see. Oh. Did I get away with it? Although the inspector harboured suspicions about you, you were not brought for any further questioning. Sophia the maid was taken for questioning and initially became the prime suspect. No evidence. You had gotten away. Oh. You were surprised to see his obituary in the na national newspaper and horrified to learn that he had given his estate. Oh, whoa. Damn. Oh, okay. So suicide really didn't help. So a good one would have been to try and get him to uh, basically get arrested or to arrest someone else. Well, actually, no. To get him arrested would have been the biggest thing so that you never got it. Uh, so that you actually got it. There's some, there's some really cool things. I'd like to try more of that. I really like that. That was cool. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.